Y'all don't understand. What up, damn, what up, Tony? I just want to let everybody know. My name is Shondell. I'm the owner. Owner. The program director of Raw Radio that airs on Power 92. It's a partnership I got with Power 92. I don't work for Power 92. The time that I'm on, I fucking bought it. I work for myself. Which that means I pay for my own shit. So niggas can breathe on mainstream radio in their hometown with over two, three million motherfucking listeners. You know what I mean? So like, like my man I Will, for example. Got that motherfucking smash that go with, right? You get what I'm saying? So for example, you've been riding around, you cut the radio when you hear your shit. Yeah. You slap yourself like, damn. I used to be y'all. I used to be an artist. I had my first record deal at 13, second record deal at 17. Traveling the motherfucking world, 22 vice president of an independent label, sold over 300,000 units, because I'm not lazy. I believed in myself, invested in myself, empowered myself. I don't, I didn't go get handouts or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just letting y'all know, you don't need a label to do what you want to do. You just have to have that, that hunger, that drive, that determination. The passion. You know what I'm saying? We in a whole new generation with a whole new wave of music. But me personally, the way I love I love Garth Brooks. You know what I'm saying? And I love Iron Whip. So it's like I love and all I'm saying to say is I love all types of music and I do what I do from the heart. I don't do what I do because I have to do it. I don't have to support any fucking body because it's not my job. Go call GCI to support you. Or B96 to support you. But guess what? Everybody, and your sign know what I'm talking about, everybody can reach out to Shondell because there's no red tape and I make it yes. easy because I used to be y'all. Yes, so I know what the fuck it's like to want to be heard and turn haters to believers and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm damn near 40 now. I've done a lot of shit, seen a lot of shit. I got a new TV show launching on WCIU, Channel 26 to you with Power 92. That way we can play fucking videos on mainstream TV as well. But it can't be no videos with guns and none of that crazy shit. No knock to y'all with that, but it's got to be, it's network television, so it's got to be a certain video. So I just wanted y'all to, I came out here tonight to just show love. And I just lost my motherfucking father, just lost my brother on surgery table right now. So I just came out here to really support and show love. Like, you know, I just want y'all to know. I love everybody, I rocks with everybody. My man right here know what it is. I paid for his motherfucking session to get his shit mixed and mastered so he can get on the radio. My boy he did. Didn't even know him. So he won one of my contests. You get what I'm saying? But didn't know him. He like, damn, he shit. It. I said, all right, I'll pay for it. Don't even worry about it. Because I want you to be heard, homie. Was you heard? You dig what I'm saying? Didn't know him. So I'm just letting y'all know, man. I really, from the, I just want, I'm just educating my people, letting y'all know. Like, I love everybody, I rocks with everybody. I fucks with this city so fucking hard, y'all don't even, I'm from the west side of Chicago. You know, Big town to be exact, you know, yeah. west of the kill point. I didn't even know that. You know, so I'm letting y'all know, man, like, you can do anything you wanna do, man. But it's so, and, and this is what it's about, unifying. All that crazy shit and niggas getting into it and beefing and crazy shit for no reason. Now, now it is certain shit that may happen, like, it ain't our fault a nigga ran off with a pack and, he deserved that. You feel me? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Right, right. But, with, with just a nigga beefing with a nigga for no reason, a nigga hating on a nigga for no reason, that's dumb. We need to be unified, man. I ain't trying to sound like a militant Muslim or no shit, no this to nobody, but I'm, I'm just speaking for the heart. It needs to be more fucking unity, man. More fucking unity. There's so much hate going on for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Like the shit that Martin Luther King went through for us. Like at, at one point, we we in a bar up north with white people, with black people, with Spanish people, unified is one. When it was a time we couldn't drink water from the same, you know, y'all know what it is. So I'm just telling y'all, man. Like, I, you know, I know nothing's overnight, but I'm just telling y'all, man. Keep doing what y'all doing on a positive note. You know what I'm saying? Because people looking up to y'all. But y'all the future. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mikey Dollar, y'all the future. Yo Santana, y'all the future. Yeah. yeah. Kiani, y'all the future. Yes. So why y'all think I'm spending my man, damn time? Give me that one fucking torch and hold it up because people looking up like yo. And, and just man, just always give them some encouragement. 
I do what I do to just give words and encouragement, man. And I just want to tell my man right here in front of everybody. I love this dude right here. Hey. You're right here, man. This dude's no, right no, here. No, no, I consider this a little brother, man. Wait, no, that's my ear. Well, well, congratulations. But I'm just like, oh, you too, girl. No, what I'm saying is, I recognize what this young Thank brother you. is doing. Thank you. His fucking work, his Thank consistency, you. his growth. Thank He's got dress now. Damn. But I'm just saying, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Man, I'm just Thank saying, you. clap it up for y'all selves for even being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, what's up, Dale? Yes, that you're saying that, the reason that he's standing here is because this is the first artist that I heard a song that I didn't know the artist, and I downloaded the music and played it in my car. And slapped the shit. And this, this dude was a stranger to me. I'm listening to Trap House, right. and I'm like a big fan. And then this is him right here. So it's real shit. Like I was, I was listening to thousands of artists doing these showcases for yeah. five years, yeah. and I heard this music downloaded in my car. And me and my kids was listening to this music, and that's why he's standing here right now. Man, I love this dude, man. Clap it up for yourselves, though, bro. Oh, yeah. Just know y'all got a real motherfucker right here fighting for y'all to be heard on radio, and that shit cost me a bag. My show cost me a bag, and I'm investing into the city.